operational comfort are the two things you care about the most. With our smart David, we take the next step and dive into the world of digitalization. In the following expert talk, we're going to hear about a new and exciting chapter in Palfinger's David Systems. Joining me in the studio to share all of his insights with us is the director of the product line, Boats and Davids, Jens Hinch. Hello, Jens. Hello, Welcome. Marianne. Thank you for the kind introduction. Glad to be here. So, Jens, why don't we just begin with a quick overview of Palfinger's David Systems? Yes, please. I would like to give you a kind of introduction into the David systems. And there you can see also at the screen, we do have an overview about a lot of David systems. So it's one of the standard products from Palfinger, where we do have systems for launching rescue boats, lifeboats, specific boats, really more or less launching devices to have then a safety device on board on standby. But you can see quite old, interesting pictures. And therefore, we're going now to the next step. And so what exactly were you hearing from your customers that made you decide that Palfinger's David systems need to be taken to a new level? The main topic is that in the alignment with our customers, we do have the approach out of the old system. What is the new kind? What is the new statement? What is the possibility? And why we are talking about an old David system, really launching a boat. And as you can see, as the daily business support, we need to have a new concept behind. So the feedback from the customer was really to say, Palfinger, what would be the next step? And what is more or less the, the interface or the glue in between? So on the one side, we do have the launching device, purely LSA, safety launching device. And on the other hand, we have the so-called business support because the David is far more than yeah, only dropping a boat. And this is exactly as we have written it over there, the smart David approach, dropping a boat under business conditions. And therefore, I would like to show you a nice picture. Here you can see, because this is exactly why we're talking not only from a safety launching device, because here you can see this is one of our yeah, nice orders in the past, having a boat from Palfinger, a David system from Palfinger. There you can see that's not only talking about safety, it is really yeah, the interlink in between business support, safety, dropping a boat and using a boat more than or we're calling it a tender boat for guests or more than only a safety device. It does look very nice. I mean, it looks like it's a floating cafe. I wouldn't <laughs> mind also taking a cruise uh, on a boat like that. But Jens, tell me what exactly then does it take to get the Palfinger David system smart? So what does that actually mean? Good question. We do have, and as you said, being on that vessel, I was sailing as a chief engineer. So it's quite nice to be on this kind of a vessel and getting really the support and really recognizing what is meaning being on sea service. And this is exactly the topic. To become smart, we need to take the next step, which is meaning you're operating a device which is designed for safety, which is really designed for the topic uh, being on standby the whole time, as you can see here, uh, having a device launching only a boat in the moment when we need to have yeah, rescue, escaping the vessel, or really leaving the vessel, it's the evacuation, which was really in front. And as you can see also here, it's a huge boat with a lot of David systems. So really to see what is the next step, we need to become smart. Meaning we need to install devices, sensors to check the system, getting a technical feedback from the system. I also understand that there's at least some things you can learn from Palfinger's crane business that could be applied to the David's uh, systems. Can you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, that this is one of our biggest advantages because as you can see, we do have the topic about what is the old setup. It's a, it's a launching device where you can drop a boat. It was designed really for solar purposes, really to under harsh conditions, weather conditions and so on and so on, really to be ready to go on standby whenever. Therefore, the system is quite, let's call it stupid. It's really a system which is designed for dropping a boat, launching the device without giving you a technical feedback. And out of Palfinger and the crane approach, we have a lot of experience with sensors, technology, getting feedback out of the system. Because if you're operating a crane, you need to know what is your crane doing. And this is exactly what we're also now putting into our David system. And 
adding sensors really to get a technical feedback that you as an operator are not only operating the system and more or less the system is demanding you, you need to have the feedback out of the system. And this is where we're starting with the smart David device, but it's saying the integration of sensors is providing the feedback to the operator to raise the safety to the next level. And I know you have some more ideas about how you can further optimize Palfinger's David systems. And I know a big uh, important part of that is also digitalization, Jens. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about how digitalization is pushing uh, the David systems even further? That's a good one because digitalization is depending really on sensors, on technology, on what is the readout, what is the data management, what is really more or less the content which you're getting as a feedback from a system. We are collecting these data, we are looking into the sensors, having then the possibility really to see, yeah, the safety features, is the David in the right setup, is the David on the standby, or is the David really in the daily use? So the operational profile is changing, and with this one, we are taking our sensors, reading out data, providing with this data then also training possibilities because you can simulate. If you do have a data management, you can simulate. And also, therefore, we have a collection of the data. And I can see there's a little laptop over there. <laughs> I don't know if everybody at home can uh, recognize that, but uh, it's a little uh, laptop computer and that uh, this is also becoming an important tool for the operators as well. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's a laptop. It's the symbol for... Um, data management. Therefore, we, we have taken the picture of a laptop because even with the possibility to integrate this collected data on the vessel, having really the crew support, the uh, support for the yeah, man on board, for the person on board, we are also trying to transfer then with the existing systems the data to ashore because then you have really the data management possibility, the digitalization, getting trend analyzed the way forward and really seeing yeah, what is the readout out of the system itself? Jens, thank you so much for this really detailed presentation, uh, but don't run away yet because <laughs> I have a couple of questions for you that were sent in from our customers who send them okay. in ahead of time. So a uh, nice collection from different people from different parts of the world. I have uh, one question sent in from my home country, the United States, and that question is, we have heard that you're planning uh, to integrate sensors at a smart David system. Will this integration be a problem for the SOLAS certification? I really do like that question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because this is the topic. The, the SOLAS safety of life at sea is really old, traditional and focusing on safety, which is, as we know, is a good point. But the main topic is we need, as we said, and as we discussed, and also from Palfinger's side, we do have the possibilities really, what is the sensor, using a sensor and really raising this. And solars, of course, if we do have an effect with the sensors on the solar system, we are struggling. But we are taking this exactly into account out of our experiences, really taking the sensors as an addition to this one. So therefore we have, of course, an effect on the solar regulations, but we are able to handle it. Okay, that, hope that was a detailed enough answer for whoever sent that question in. Okay, I have another question sent in from France. Uh, and this person writes, uh, David systems aboard seagoing vessels are ready for operation under harsh conditions. How do you prevent the integrated sensors from immediately failing under these harsh conditions? So that's a good question. It can get very wet, very cold, very salty. You have been on board, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is. Uh, it's really a good topic because this is one of the challenges in this specific industry, of course, uh, foggy humidity and so on and so on. But the topic is also a crane working on the land side, having really then the, the, the sensors, the topics and the possibilities out of the pile finger world. We know how to deal with the sensor and therefore also the protection, the harsh environments, even our maritime business with handling solutions, cranes and so on. So the sensor, the type of sensor is well known and how to protect. We do have a lot of experiences, of course, maybe not with this specific setup for a David system, but out of this business. So I think also that we will find some really good solutions for that one. And also one remark, if a sensor is failing, you're getting a feedback. And if you're getting a feedback, you need to check it. And then we're also increasing the safety because you're on site. Safety first. Safety first. So we have another question sent in from somebody in Germany. So I believe that's uh, your home country. Um, during your presentation, you referred to a 
David's system aboard a cruise vessel. Are you planning to integrate sensors also for your other David systems or products? The main driver is more or less the cruise industry because um, there you see, as we discussed, we do have the advantage or the next step guest maneuvers, boarding, bringing the guests, transferring it, them to a shore and so on. Um, but of course, we're talking about safety. We're talking about increase the technical feedback of a system. So therefore, yes, we are starting with our huge, for example, PD55, the big David systems for the cruise industry. But of course, we will also install then with this kind of experience also, or raise also the other Davids to the same level. Yes, will be installed also on other systems. Okay, I hope we have time for one more question. Do you have time for one more question? Go I ahead, have time thanks. For one more question. Okay, <laughs> this one is just another one from uh, somebody in the US. Uh, this person asks, Palfinger is a provider of David Systems and Boats. We know this. <laughs> uh, what is your plan to combine these two products? Ah, and will there be any kind of combination or package solution provided? They're raising really good questions. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, yeah, also good point, because on the one hand, we're talking about the David system, where we're increasing the safety, installing sensors, and more or less surveying the David itself. But of course, there is the interface to the boat. And therefore, the combination, and this is exactly also like the picture with the, the laptop, uh, data management in the combination David system and the boat makes sense having the more or less operational profile of the boat, data collection in the combination with the David system, you know then the overall system, and this is the approach of Palfinger, talking about solutions. Jens Hinge, thank you so very much for all of your insights, for answering everybody's questions. So he's the product line leader, Boats and Davids. Thank you so very much indeed. Thank you too, and if you like, and if someone like to get in contact with me, there you can see my email address, it's also in the internet, then yeah, would be happy to follow up also on this talk then. Thank you.